The Modi government has rolled back UPSC lateral entry. The recruitment advertisement triggered widespread criticism from opposition and even allies like JDU and LGP. This is not the first time that the Modi government has reversed decisions. So what are the NDA's biggest U-turns? News 9 Plus decodes. Let's begin with the most recent ones, the Centre's Waqf Amendment Bill 2024. It sought to effectively address issues related to state waqf boards and waqf properties. But political critics claimed it would infringe upon the rights to property and religious freedom besides encroaching on state powers. This forced the government to send it to a joint parliamentary committee for wider scrutiny. Another U-turn was with the plan to remove indexation benefits on long-term capital gains tax. The proposal in Budget 2024-25 didn't go down well with the public. So the indexation benefits had to be restored. Homeowners now have the option to pay LTCG tax at 20% with indexation or at 12.5% without indexation benefit for properties acquired before July 23, 2024. Then there's the broadcast bill. The centre has withdrawn the second draft of the Broadcasting Services Bill 2024 after concerns about some provisions and the consultation process. So now the government has invited feedback from the public on the first draft. All these U-turns happened in 2024. What other decisions have the Modi government withdrawn? In 2021, massive protests against the farm laws forced the government to withdraw them. For almost a year, farmers protested against the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Act 2020, the Essential Commodities Act 2020 and the Farmers Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Act 2020. These laws were passed in September 2020. But the Supreme Court put a stay on their implementation in January 2021. Before that, in 2015, the Centre revoked the contentious Land Bill amendments about consent of affected families and social impact assessment. The Modi-led government hadn't managed to get the Land Acquisition Bill cleared in the Lok Sabha, but opposition in the Rajya Sabha led the government to drop the amendments.